Scaredy Squirrel goes to the library. Scaredy Squirrel is too scared to go into the library. Oh, come on, Scaredy. It'll be fine. What is Scaredy afraid of? He has come up with a list of advantages and disadvantages of going into the library. Disadvantages. Dun, dun, dun. Number one, the library is the great unknown. Number two, a book might fall on his head. Number three, paper cut. Number four, bookworms. But there have to be some advantages, reasons Scaredy would want to go into the library. Number one, you can learn interesting new things. Number two, you can read great stories. Number three, you can explore your interests and have great fun. Scaredy Squirrel takes a few steps into the library, but he's still scared. What if loud noises make him jump? What if somebody is running and knocks him over? What if he finds the perfect book and someone takes it right out of his hand? No problemo, Scaredy. We've got you covered. In the library, there are simple and easy rules that help it run more smoothly. When people use the library, they remember that it's a shared space. We keep our voices at a number one level so that others may read and get their work done. We use walking feet for the safety of all. The library is a friendly, respectful place. We leave the library looking as neat as the way we found it. Scaredy begins to walk into the library. Then he freezes. What if he can't find the books he wants? What? What will he do? Simmer down, Scaredy. There's lots of ways to find good books. You can. Use signs. They'll help you find your way to some of the most popular subjects. Ask a friend what books he or she likes. Use the computer catalog. You can look up titles, authors, or even subjects. And there's one more thing. Hmm. Oh yeah, ask Miss Deliso. She'll help you find whatever you need. When we're in the library, we use our time wisely. We look for the books we want, check them out at the desk, then sit and read quietly until it's time to go back to class. Wait, wait a minute. Check them out? Scaredy Squirrel would never, ever, ever check out a library book. After all, he might lose it or ruin it. Then what would he do? Well, Scaredy, there are some things you can do to prevent mishaps with books. Keep books in a safe space at home, away from pets and younger brothers and sisters. Put your book in your backpack every night. Then you'll never forget it when library day rolls around. Don't eat or drink while reading a book. Food and drink can spill and make pages stick together. Always remember to wash hands before reading. Clean hands mean clean books. Use a bookmark. Never leave your book open face down and never turn over page corners. Did you know that there's a right way to turn pages? If you turn them gently at the top corner, your book will have fewer tears. Each time that you return your book, you can check out another. But if you forget your book, you won't be able to get another until the first one is returned. Sometimes things happen. A book can be ruined or lost. If that happens, you have to pay for the book or replace it. After that, you can check out more books. So what do you think, Scaredy? Is the library worth the risk? Look everyone, Scaredy Squirrel is going into the great unknown. He is exploring books and finding some favorites. He's checking them out and lining up. He's kept the library safe, calm, and clean. 
he will take care of his book, and next week he'll come back and get some more. Scaredy Squirrel Goes to the Library was narrated by Ping and Thea. A University School Production.